Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with another Magic Gathering Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms preview opening. Release date is officially this Friday, but I do have a half case's worth of collector booster boxes to check out for you guys. Now these aren't as crazy in price as those Modern Horizons 2 collector boosters, but you can still find some really nice cards of course in those borderless and extended art variations that Extended arts you can only find in the collector boosters, but borderless you do find more in a collector booster than in a scent or draft booster. But I'm excited to check out these products. I haven't seen any openings of collector boosters just quite yet. Last week I did check out a set booster for pre-release weekend. We'll link that video right up there for you all to go check out. And I'm very excited to check out these collector boosters. Excited to see what the ratios are approximately for borderless cards, borderless foils, extended arts, etc. So I am ready to go ahead and jump on into these three collector booster boxes. Let's do it by snapping us into the corner. And I'll set one right there. I guess I can set the others behind me. All right, there we go. And let's get started. Should be 12 packs per collector booster. I'm excited to see, like I said, what we find also. Just like Strixhaven, uh, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms does have real commander decks, not just the like generic ones that you see hanging on a peg at Target, but actual functional, uh, pretty competitive as well, nice cards in the commander deck. So we'll be seeing those extended our commander cards, but as just with Strixhaven, they do not come in foil. At least I haven't seen any from what Bossman has opened. Then let's check out the back of the box here. This will be the one time I do it. Inside, you find a plus one collector booster of excitement filled with extraordinary magic items from across the Forgotten Realms. Each booster contains 10 traditional foils, five rares of mythics, and two extended art cards. You also find 19 silver pieces, two candles, and a bag of caltrops. <laughs> All right, so we got our little flavor text there. Love it. It gives us a little breakdown of what we should be finding for Collector Booster. And all right, let's get started. Mainly here looking for Tiamat, Borderless, and Borderless Foils. Also, Old Gnawbone is still nice and pricey. The Loft Spider Queen and her full art variant, or Borderless full art, uh, is also quite up there. And then, of course, other just great cards from the set, like Demolich, Extended Art, and Regular. But all righty, here we go. First pack. Loving the flavor text here on the cards. This one I actually made a mention of during our set booster opening, but Lurking Roper says, you see, stalactites grow down from the ceiling, and while stalagmites reach, ah, this person got attacked by that horror creature. Uh, they couldn't even finish going full geology on people. I actually started off as a geology major in college. I uh, do still really enjoy the subject. Just as I was going through it, I was like, I don't actually want to do this as a career. I just want to read a bunch of books, collect a bunch of rocks, and watch like Nat Geo specials on it. So I did end up switching to math. But anyways, did find Grim Hireling from Commander. So foil rares, foil mythics we can put. Usually I put them on that side, so let's continue with my trend. Loyal Warhound. All right, so... And foils, mythics, foils, regular rares, foil mythics, tokens, etc. And our showcases. So we do have some common showcases. Put common foils there. Rare showcase, ochre jelly here. And we have a black dragon borderless foil. That's cool. That is uncommon. I actually haven't seen that card before. And then foil showcase Nadar, selfless paladin. We do have our foil token. Now, of course, I will need space on this playmat here. That's my pet lizard, by the way, if you're new to the channel. Also, normally wear glasses. Some of you might be wondering, Allie, why aren't you wearing glasses in today's videos? I took the thumbnail pictures without putting them on. Uh, I just forgot. And then I was like, these are nice pictures. I'm committing. I'm committing to the style today. So don't have my glasses. I didn't get contacts or anything like that. I just forgot to put them on before I took the thumbnails. And then I didn't want to retake the thumbnails. So that is what's up with that. So we will need space for the showcase modules, but we'll deal with that as we get there. And all right, pack number two. Very excited to be checking this out. We do see, of course, the tokens are dual-sided in the collector boosters. Dual-sided dual foil tokens. Foil basic. I like how they have flavor text on them as well. Hand of Vecna, foil rare. Bag of tricks. Werewolf pack leader. Do you need to actually slide these over a spot? Because you can, of course, get extended art mythics in the commander cards. Werewolf Pack Leader, Cloister Gargoyle, Lurking Roper, and the Tarrasque. That is a mythic. Put our mythics and rares together. Commons and uncommons together. Arborea Pegasus Foil, and Orcus, Prince of Death. Extended Art Rare. I 
I've yet to try out these new cards on Arena. Do intend to do so. They look super fun. I'm loving, like I said, loving the flavor text. I love the vibe that the set is giving. Just feels really fun. I've never played D&D. I, I, I know, shame on me, but I've never had a friend group that was into it. Hall of Storm Giants, foil rare. But I'm just, I'm liking, like, like I said, I'm liking what I'm seeing, liking the vibe here. It feels very fun, exciting, adventurous. Of course, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms makes sense. So I want to try out these cards, see how they play. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Grandmaster Flowers Mythic Borderless. Pixie Guide Foil and Forsworn Paladin. Extended Art Foil Rare. No module cards yet. Those are my favorite showcases. I do like this old-timey paper style on the these showcases, but I, I do love the modules a significant amount more. Even though, like I said, I've never played D&D. I'm just attached to them. I remember a couple years ago, Bossman just brought out his collection of old modules from when he was growing up. So I remember thinking those were super cool. And just seeing module style cards in magic is to me is just something just awesome. Share the spoils from Commander Circle of Dreams Druid. That's a nice extended art. Noel Hunter, Ginny Winsier. Ooh, I see a foil module coming up. Drizzt de Orden, Hulking Bugbear, foil. Den of the Bugbear. Module foil. These are so gorgeous. And a token. All right. I think what I'll have to do, since I'm assuming we'll be getting a lot more of these showcases, we've seen a ton of them. My face is covering up the pile, so it doesn't necessarily matter to you all. But borderless and borderless foils, regardless of rarity, will just be their own piles. And then the modules will be their own piles. I think that'll work best here for our layout. Hopefully we do see a Commander Mythic and some regular extended art Mythics. Otherwise, I just have all this space that's not being used. All right, here we go. Next pack, almost halfway through box one. As we get set up with our piles, then we'll start picking up the pace. And of course, get into our end of opening recap at the end of the video. Tasha's Hideous Laughter is another nice extended art. Den of the Bugbear, non-foil. Direwolf Prowler, foil. Teleportation Circle, extended art, foil rare. And of course, our token. That wolf has armor. That wolf is ready for battle. Is land foil. Sphere of Annihilation. Galia, Kindler of Hope, Extended Art, Commander Mythic, Dancing Sword, Clattering Skeletons. That sounds uncomfortable. Reading that title, I don't like it. Gelatinous Cube, rare. Null Hunter Foil, Ochre Jelly, Showcase Foil, rare. And a Treasure Token. All right, on to the second half of box number one. The Tarrasque Mythic Foil, Song of Inspiration, Wizard Spellbook. Rhyme Shield Frost Giant Showcase, Temple of the Dragon Queen Module Showcase, Dungeon Descent Module Showcase, Red Dragon Borderless Foil, and Ace Rerak the Arc Lich. Extended Art Mythic. All right, so not sure why Blue Dragon, I believe, is a mythic, but it seems that the other just standard color dragons are uncommons. Definitely cool looking borderless cards, especially in foil. Just not sure if there's some sort of lore background that makes the blue dragon better. Or if I'm just completely mistaken and it's also an uncommon. I thought it was a mythic for some reason. Maybe we'll see one, and then I'll then I'll answer my question. Dancing sword, a showcase and not showcase foil, regular foil rare, vengeful ancestor, skeletal swarming, pixie guide, Faradet, devil's chosen. Imrith, Desert Doom, Borderless Mythic, Ginny Winsier, Foil, Dungeon Descent, Foil Showcase, and another Treasure Token. Seen a pattern. Module Foils come with Treasure Token. To be fair, we've seen a lot of Treasure Tokens already. All right, let's continue. Westgate Regent, Feysteed. Long Rest. Could use one of those. Zalto, Fire Giant Duke. Owlbear, Foil. Drizzt de Urden, 
Showcase Foil Rare. Dungeon Token. Why do I have two different token piles? Not sure. Rogue Class Foil Rare. Winged Boots. Hey, Demolich Extended Art. Nice. Extended Art Mythic. Evolving Wilds Module. Black Dragon. Non Foil Borderless. White. Showcase Rare. Loyal Warhound. Extended Art Rare Foil. And Dog Illusion. Token Creature. Alright, two packs left here of Box 1. Ochre Jelly, Foil, Mantle of the Ancients, Guardian of Faith, Mind Flare, Showcase Rare, and Evolving Wilds, Foil Module, Dancing Sword, Extended Art, Foil Rare, and our final pack of our first box. That's cute. Fairy Dragon, Art there by Iris Compiet. like the style. I like that card. I'm loving the art here. Art direction is great. Art theme, great. Loving what I see. Zalto, Fire Giant Duke. Lorcan, Warlock Collector. Hobgoblin, Bandit Lord. We have Lair of the Hydra, Module, Showcase. And Flump, Extended Art, Foil Rare for our last of the box. So I am going to straighten up our piles before we get into our recap. Do, however, want to not recap, but I want to count how many extended art foils that we found, just out of curiosity, to see what we should be aiming for approximately in our next two boxes. I'll try and keep a mental count of those. All right, just one Commander Mythic extended art. We had six extended art foil rares and one extended art foil mythic. Only one extended art mythic non-foil in that Demolich. Definitely a nice one to find, though. One regular foil mythic. No borderless foil mythics, although we did get borderless non-foils. Two of them. A blue dragon. Not the blue dragon, but a blue dragon and the white planeswalker. And then we also had three module foils. Do love those module foils. I do have to check and see how large this set is. I might collect those. I've been attempting to collect, collect foil showcase sets of, since... Since Zendikar. Has it been happening? Has it been happening? But anyways, here we go. Box number two. Of course, we are opening up a half case. Four cases of collector boosters do have six boxes, unless it's a master case, and then it's six inner cases for for 36 boxes. That's, that's an expensive full case opening. I did do a, a regular case of six boxes for Modern Horizons, and then I went over to Boss Man, and I was like, hey, so many products are delayed this week, I can get into our Forgotten Realms openings a bit early, let me do a case of collector boosters. And he was already cracking into collector boosters, he's like, um, you can have the rest of this case. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I only got a half case this time instead of a full case, but hey, collector boosters are fun to open. So here we go, pack one, box two. Fairy Dragon token on the back. Alrighty. Mordekainen, Planeswalker Mythic Foil, Robe of Stars, Sphere of Annihilation, Lair of the Hydra Module, Dragon Turtle, Showcase Rare Foil, and our token. of Storm Giants, Lorcan, Warlock Collector, Werewolf Pack Leader, Westgate Regent Showcase, Asmodeus the Archfiend, Extended Art Foil Rare, and a Devil Token, Mordekainen is a cool planeswalker for me to see, because I remember actually one of the first D, D alternate covers because hobby shops do have access to getting the exclusive alternate covers uh, one of the first ones actually ran into issues with is the mordecai and tome of foes a lot of them showed up damaged that was just a product-wide issue so i remember that that sticks out in my brain as i guess a core memory from my time here at titan 
And seeing him as a planeswalker, I'm like, I've seen that dude before. I've seen his D&D book. Not that... Just I, I associate the name with it. You know, I don't know the lore behind that that guy, but when I saw the name, I saw the spoiler for it. I, I didn't actually read what the card does, but I was like, oh, there's a Planeswalker Mordekind, and that's so cool. We have Zariel, Archduke of... Can't read behind the chain there. We'll have to just hopefully find a regular version of that card so I can read it. But Borderless Mythic there. Planeswalker, Zariel. Cool name. Loyal Warhound, Extender Art Foil Rare. And the mod, the uh, the dungeon card tokens look so cool in foil. Sphere of Annihilation, foil. Wind and oh, wild endeavor. Excuse me. Wizard spellbook. Evan Death, Draco Lich, borderless mythic. That's a sick looking dragon. We have Zariel. Foil, borderless, mythic. Zarl returns, not in regular format, so I cannot read the name of the card. I am unprepared. Shame. Everybody go type shame in the comment section down below. Blue dragon. Ah, so I was mistaken. Perhaps I was just seeing people say blue dragon mythic actually referring to this card. I'm Rith, Desert Doom. All right, so the dragon cycle looks like they are just uncommons. Would like to see what that looks like in borderless form. Looks super cool. In regular form. Westgate Regents. Catty Bree. Hand of Vecna. Volo, Guide to Monsters. Showcase Rare. Dancing Sword, Extended Art Foil Rare. Just occurred to me I have not been taking mental counts of the Extended Arts like I thought I would be. But, of course, we're aiming to have 18 at the end of box number three. Hoping for six per box. Mountain. Zalto. Fire Giant Duke. Foil. Face Steed. Hey, Xanathar. Guild Kingpin. Extended Art. Nice mythic. We have White Dragon. Borderless. That's cool. Zorn. Drizzt de Orden. Foil Showcase. All right. Second half of box two. Old Gnawbone, Foil, nice mythic, nice. Belt of Giant Strength, Circle of Dreams, Druid. I'd like to get one of those in Foil. Treasure Vault, Module, Black Dragon, Borderless Foil. Black Staff of Waterdeep, Extended Art Foil, and Dog Illusion Token. Tasha's Hideous Laughter, Foil Rare. Karazikar, the Eye Tyrant. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Ha ha ha. Skeletal Swarming. Extended Art. Nadar, Selfless Paladin. We have Meteor Swarm. Extended Art Foil. And a Devil Token. Delina, Wild Mage, Foil, Fiend Lash, Teleportation Circle, Lolth, Spider Queen, Borderless, nice. Art there is amazing by Jesper Aging. Jesper E here. I remember actually in the online magic art group, Volo Foil Showcase, he was actually going to auction it and then got an offer. This is what he said, offer that he couldn't refuse and sold it uh, via offer. So don't know what that offer was. I don't believe that was disclosed to the public, but I'm very curious. Very curious. I believe the Drizzt de Arden regular art was the most expensive art sale that I've ever seen for Magic. Like it was over a hundred thousand dollars. And then I remember uh, the B-Boy, if you guys remember my obsession with B-Boy. If you're, you've been to the channel before, I saw those, saw those Modern Horizons 2 opening. I like Glimmer Baron. He's super cute, the little guy in a bee costume. The original art for B-Boy went for auction. I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, 
Maybe one day I can be cool enough to afford something like this. Like the original B-Boy art. It's just crazy to see stuff like that. That's like a whole level of collecting that I can't even fathom. It's crazy though. But also super iconic to own these original arts. Sorcerer class. Bag of Devouring. Rather have not a bag of devouring. Forsworn Paladin. Green Dragon. Not to be confused with Old Gnawbone. Dra and Dragon Turtle. Showcase Rare. Guardian of Faith. Extended Art Foil. And second to last pack here of box number two. Evolving Wilds looks nice here. Nadar, Selfless Paladin, Holy Avenger, Hobgoblin, Bandit Lord. We have Hall of Storm Giants, Module, Red Dragon, Borderless Foil, Flame Skull, that looks cool. Extended Art Foil Mythic, and a Treasure Token. So what I've noticed so far, pattern across these boxes, one Extended Art Commander Mythic, one Extended Art Regular Mythic, one Extended Art Foil Regular Mythic, and one Regular Foil Mythic. In box one, two, so far in box two. Box two's had a lot of mythics. We still had that Borla Zariel foil. So box two is winning here in mythic counts. Did box one have any regular showcase mythics? No. All right, that's the pattern I'm noticing. Seems like one across the board on the mythics. Definitely seems a little bit light compared to usual. But anyways, here we go. Last pack, box two. We'll see what box three brings us. Lair of the Hydra, Foil, Indomitable Mites, Book of Exalted Deeds. All right, already breaking the pattern here. I should have waited to the last pack. Extended Art, Mythic. Module, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Treasure Chest, Extended Art, Foil, and tome, Tomb of Annihilation for our final token. All right, once again, let me straighten up these piles. And then we'll get on into box number three. Having a lot of fun here cracking open this half case of collector boosters. Excited to see what other mythics. Hopefully we can find some more borderless foils, perhaps a loth. Perhaps an old gnawbone would also be a nice borderless foil to get. But I just want to see more of these cards. I'm, like I said, absolutely loving the art, art direction here for the set. At least in that aspect, like I said, I haven't played yet, haven't tested out, haven't seen anything's broken. I know Book of Exalted Deeds got banned in the Singleton form, or not Singleton, but Best of One format because of Faith's Faceless Haven. But with no idea on how these cards play, really loving what I'm seeing. All right, box three, our third and final collector booster opening for the shop on the channel. Do have personal breaks this weekend scheduled for our live stream on Saturday night. Several collector boosters there, so don't be sad. It's not like collector boosters of Adventures in the Forgotten Realms are gone forever. Just in terms of stuff, singles for us here at Titan, this is our final collector booster. All right, here we go. Pack one, box three. Wizard Spellbook, Foil, Grave Endeavor, Long Rest, Green Dragon. Eliwick Tumblestrom. Look at that frog. Her frog is awesome. We've seen the regular art to Eliwick, but this, this borderless, that's nice. Steve Prescott here on the arts. Look at the, the pixies or fairies. The frog. I'm in love with that frog. Frogs are so cute. Part of me wants a pet frog. Wanty Mallison, extended art foil. And part of me is like, I don't want more than just Niv. Niv's already a lot huge but frogs are cute frogs are really cute I don't like toads I like anime toads I don't like actual toads to me they, they're kind of gross looking in person skeletal swarming rod of absorption flump varus silvery moon ranger skeletal swarming senator art foil and a wolf token I was going to make a joke how if they have vampire tokens in the scent and it'd be Twilight Light, but then that's actually just what uh, the Shadows, not Shadows, we already had Shadows of Innistrad, but the Innistrad sets that are coming out later this year. I'm like, oh, we already kind of have that joke coming up with werewolves and vampires. <laughs> Grazalax. 
the Lithid Scholar. We got Cthulhu on a card here. Anyways, Chaos Dragon, Triumphant Adventurer, Module Hall of Storm Giants Showcase, Mind Flare Foil. That doesn't sound very comfortable. All right. Here we go. Next pack. Inferno of the Star Mounts, Mythic. Regular Mythic foil of the box, most likely. Druid of Purification, Treasure Chest. Module Evolving Wilds. Minion of the Mighty, Rare. Triumphant Adventurer, Extended Art Foil. Which we just did see the non-foil in the pack previous. See a Borderless coming up in this pack. Orb of Dragonkind. Dragonborn Champion. Perhaps not. Oh, yep, it's still there. All right. Acer, uh, Acerarak, the Orc Lich here. Extended Art Mythic. Tiamat, nice. Borderless here. Tiamat Borderless Mythic. First Tiamat of the entire half case. Hive of the Eye Tyrant Showcase Foil Module. Yeah, and I just knocked over a pile of tokens. All right, three collector boxes, only one Tiamat so far. Perhaps this will be a loaded Tiamat box. White, foil rare. Radiant Solar, true polymorph. Adult Gold Dragon. He's an adult. He's got flying lifelink in haste. Borderless rare. And then old Gnawbone, borderless foil. That's nice. I think this box, based on what I know, I think this box here is winning. Borderless foil, old Gnawbone, and our only Tiamat. To be fair, other boxes did have Xanathar, Demolich, regular old Gnawbone foil. Loth, borderless, not foil, but still Loth, borderless. So we've seen some nice cards across the other boxes as well, but I think box number three here is running away. Running away with the win. Didn't mean to have them compete, but just Tiamat and Old Gnawbone foil. Nice. Gelatinous Cube. Just love the name. Revivify. Hey, Xanathar Guild Kingpin extended art here. Hive of the Eye Tyrant module. Zorn. Every time I see Zorn, I'm like, isn't that something from Star Trek? Gorn, maybe? No, Gorns are from Star Trek. Zorn? I feel like I've heard Zorn before, though. I have a weird sense of deja vu. I don't know. Deja vu! Long Rest Foil. Storvald, Frost Giant, Jarl. Asmodeus, the Archfiend. Dragon Turtle. He's a dragon. He's a turtle. He's a dragon. Turtle, Hobgoblin, Bandit Lord. All right, just a few packs here remaining in box number three. We have Eye of Vecna, Foil. Phantom Steed, Frog Hemoth, Frog Horror. He's a frog behemoth, I like it. Not cute, but I'll accept it. Volo. Circle of Dreams, Druid, Extended Art Foil. That's nice. Yeah, box number three here, I think, is our clear winner now. Clear winner here, box three. All right, the camera has focused. We can proceed. Bard Class Foil, Neverwinter Hydra, Vorpal Sword, Evolving Wilds Module, Cave of the Frost Dragon. Cave of the Frost Dragon Foil Module. I was just thinking to myself, I don't think I've seen that one before. And then we had two in the same pack. All right, second to last pack here of our half case. Fairy Dragon token in the back. I like it. What can I say about box number three when we have a regular Mythic Foil Tiamat? Black Snap of Waterdeep. Oswald Fiddlebender. 
Name sounds a bit unfortunate. Inferno of the Star Mouse. Borderless Foil Mythic. Two Borderless Foil Mythics. A lot going on here in box three. Still one pack left. Let's check out this final pack. Final pack here of our half case. Vorpal Sword, Valiant Endeavor, Wish, Nadar, Selfless, Paladin, Showcase, Westgate Regent, Showcase Foil is our final quote-unquote hit of the box. All right. Oh, I just threw that in a pile of Pokemon cards from the other day. Ah, oh, well, take care of that later. So let's straighten up these piles, and of course we'll get into our recap. Don't think we need to look at the top row at all, so I'll just kind of set them off to the side. Foil commons, uncommons, basics, and our tokens. Then, of course, we'll go through a lot of these piles. We'll look at our showcase uncommon and common foils. Now, actually, we'll just quickly... Do we have any showcase mythics? I think I saw one. Yeah, we did have just one across the three boxes. That was courtesy of box number one. Do we have any showcase mythic foils? Don't see any. In terms of borderless cards, rare, mythics, mythics, do, 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 mythics, 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 mythics. Well, look at the borderless non-mythics. And in terms of these as well, we didn't have any rares, so I'll set all the uncommons off to the side. I think Evolving Wilds is the only non-rare in the module, so I'll just leave it in. I like the art, and there's not too many of those. Anyways, let's go ahead and start off our recap with our regular foil mythics. Across three boxes, we did end up finding five. One Tarask, one Mordekainen, one Old Gnawbone, Inferno of the Star Mounts, and Tiamat. And from our foil rares, we'll pan through them real quick. Good assortment here. Did see a couple duplicates, but good assortment. Tasha's Hideous Laughter, that one Circle of Dreams druid I believe we saw in here as well. Lands, of course. Foil lands are always nice. And then in terms of extended art, foil mythics. We only did find two. Box one, box two. Each had one. Box three didn't have any. But box three was just busted, so I'll forgive box three on that on that flop. But we had Flame Skull and Acerarach. Uh, Acer Acerarach. The Arklich. That sounds okay. I think I'll go with that. And then for... Non-foil extended art mythics. We did have five across the three boxes. Demolich, Xanathar times two. The Book of Exalted Deeds and a Rack, once again. In terms of extended art foil rares, did have a Circle of Dreams Druid, which was a nice pull. Do we have any Tasha's Hideous Laughters? No, in the extended arts, but we did have one in the regular rares. Did see that. We'll check these out just because that is a large pile, but I will look at our Commander Mythics. Just did see one of these per box, that's what I'm assuming the pattern is. Galia, Karazakar, and Storvald were our three Mythics here from the Commander decks across these three boxes. Now, for our Module Foils, did have five different ones across the three boxes. Den of the Bugbear, Dungeon Descent, Evolving Wilds, Hive of the Eye Tyrant, and Cave of the Frost Dragon. For the non-foil modules, did have a decent sized pile here. Definitely a lot less module showcases than the regular showcase cards, but did still see a decent amount. Borderless foils. We had Old Gnawbone there, very nice. Inferno of the Star Mounts and Zariel, Archduke of something that I can't read. Art 2 Dynamic, can't read. And then for our non-foils, we had Grandmaster of Flowers. Imerith, Zariel, Ebendeth, Lolth, Eliwick, and Tiamat. I'll leave that Tiamat on top. T for top. And Adult Gold Dragon was our only borderless rare. The only one that we saw across three boxes saw one non-foil Adult Gold Dragon. No Showcase Foil Mythics from the regular Showcase cards. Did have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rares. And then one non-foil showcase mythic, Tarask. He didn't get the borderless treatment, he got the showcase treatment. And then pan through our showcase rares as well, seeing usually one of these per pack. 
unless you did find one of the module cards, although of course those were less common. And then I said I'd check, almost forgot, but we are aiming for 18 extended art foil rares. How many did we find? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So not sure if we did actually find 6 per box, but we did find an average of 6 per box. And then of course... We started off finding one extended art foil mythic per box, but then I do believe we didn't have one in the third box, but I feel that we may have found. Yeah, we did find two though, two borderless foil, two borderless foil mythics instead, whereas we saw one otherwise. So right, we only had three. So didn't see a borderless foil mythic in box one, I believe. Saw one in box two and two in box three. So still did find a good amount of mythics per box. Was hoping that we'd keep up that trend, but box three was so stellar. Like I said, I forgive that little misstep that it had there. But I think we did pretty well here, especially box three might be clouding my judgment, but box three was an absolute banger. Old Knobbone, Borderless Foil. We had Circle of Dreams, Druid, Extended Art Foil, Rare, Tiamat, Borderless. Lots of great cards in box three. So that was definitely a great box to end off on. But I had a great time opening up these three collector boosters. Like I said, half case opening here of Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. I hope you all enjoyed this product preview. As I mentioned a little earlier, product's official release date is this Friday, the 23rd. So coming soon to a hobby shop near you. If you want to grab any, best of luck on your pulls. But if you guys enjoyed this video, which of course I hope you did, don't forget to go ahead and smack that like button, comments for me, leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But before I get on out of here and into our one other new product opening of the night, we'll be checking out 2021 Topps Clearly Authentic Baseball. Definitely a very different product from this one. Instead of having, you know, 12 packs per box, there's literally just one card per box. That's coming up next. But like I said, before I get into that, though, I do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond for your support of the support of the channel. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. Do have 10 Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Sultari, MT, Sean F, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also have 12 Gemin fans. Alberto M, Chicago Infinity, Devon, Dragonfire, Dusty Art Chaletta, Jerry H, Geek, Jake Rhino C, Joe Howe, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. But thank you so much again to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on the screen at the end of every video. But that does it here for me on Magic Tonight. Do have another TCG opening, though, coming up later. Three boxes of Yu-Gi-Oh! King's Court to check out. So not more Magic Tonight. We'll, of course, have more Magic on Friday. But do have some Yu-Gi-Oh! coming up later as well. And like I said, the clearly authentic baseball from Tops. But that does it here for me in this video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!